Hi, in this video I'll talk about the dynamics of rotation. I mean that force and torque will enter the picture. In the previous video I had spoken about kinematics which was purely to do with equations of motion, linear velocity, angular velocity, angular acceleration and so on. In this image I have retained some of those things. So the green arrow here is the linear velocity at the edge of that wooden disc. The curved blue arrow is indicative of the angular velocity of rotation of that disk. And what's new here is the force F, which is shown as a red vector, and the perpendicular arrow, which is showing torque T, which is a pink vector. So if you take a top view of this whole thing, you can see that the force vector is perpendicular to the radius drawn from the center to the edge of that disk. So these two guys are perpendicular to each other, and they always will be in a typical situation where a disk is rotating. You can't see the torque here because the torque is coming out of that disk perpendicular at us. So the torque is perpendicular to both of these guys. So if you look at an animation, it will make clear the concept of a cross product. So force is one, the radius is the next. So the product of force vector with the radius becomes the third guy who is that pink arrow which is perpendicular to both the force and to the radius. That's how the torque vector becomes the cross product of force into radius. Another thing to note here is that for a given constant torque, the force applied at the periphery of that disk will be smaller because the radius is big. If the radius becomes small and if we try to rotate the disk by moving it from the center, much larger force will be needed to rotate it. That's how you can get a feel for the torque. So whenever you think of torque, think of force into the radius of action. I hope this video was uh, useful to you. Thanks and uh, have a great day.